everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo and I'm reviewing the SPY here tonight. And uh, it's very interesting because the market felt heavy, heavy this morning. I felt that the market should be up higher this morning given the, the jobs number out. Um, we did gap up, but I had felt that it was a big gap that was needed. But you know what, my, my take on the market was we were either gonna stall today, fall and then rally next week or take pretty much all day to get going. And that is what the market did. Now, I'm just gonna review this here because I'm I'm gonna, sh I, you know, I've been doing this a long time, but I'm on a bazillion email lists. I mean, I'm, I'm the time we're talking about going back like 11 years and I just have a separate email I get all this crap to. And I got so many emails in the last 48 hours about people shorting this market. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's because the market to people has seemed toppy here in the last, you know, two days. We gapped up here and fell. Didn't get over 295 and then fell. This was the Fed day. The Fed minutes came out. Dropped down here. Gapped down this day. Actually, let me take this off. So a lot of people shorted this market here. Shorting the top. And, and then there you see it. And again, remember, resistance and support are areas. So people were looking at this and saying, well, that's it. That's the top of the market. And then here's today. So the market gapped up today and really, quite frankly, rallied into the close exactly as I expected we would do. 519 here Eastern time market up here after hours. And anything can happen here next week between the next three days of Monday morning. I don't know where we open, but I will tell you that the market's definitely higher. First of all, if your strategy is shorting tops and buying bottoms, you will consistently lose in the market over the long haul. It doesn't mean that some days you won't make money. It means that over the long haul, you will lose money. Also, um, you know, a lot of people, like I said, not only shorted this market, um, but exited their longs when we didn't follow through. Let's go here three days ago or two days ago. So, you know, I'm telling you th th these numbers are real. I mean, the market mathematics, if you've ever studied math, you understand in the world, these numbers are real. The SPY is headed to that 300 number. It is going to get there. I can't give you the exact time and second and date and moment and time that it's going to, but it will get there. And the reality is that you should never short a top as a strategy. So a nice call here I made in the market, it was fairly early in the morning, not, not right out of the gate because I felt we were heavy this morning and we did drop and fall initially after the gap up. But you know, for the mark to get through this area, the shorts are not blown on through yet because we didn't get over this level, which was 294.95, but I'm telling you that we will. Now some people watch price action like me, um, but they don't read it like me. They will take trades according to something called technical analysis. And some people trade based on fundamental analysis. I'm telling you that technical analysis gives you the right information to be able to know what to do next. So the market is definitely, definitely not a short. And quite frankly, anyone that is short in this market, in my mind, is an idiot, okay? But, you know, another nice call here today. And again, many people still probably have hung on to their shorts over here from a couple of days ago, thinking and believing wholeheartedly that the market might get a little bit over it and then fall again, are feeling that the market is extended. This market is not extended. And I could go into a very, very, very long lecture about why. I'm not going to do that here tonight. It's Friday night. It's late. But I will tell you, though, that um, I had a nice call here today in the day trading room to go long the market. A nice option trade here to go long. And I would follow this through for sure into the next week. And we will see where we go. Again, I don't follow fundamentals, but there was a nice jobs number out this morning, which created the gap up in the market. I wanted to see it bigger, but at the end of the day, the market still did it. There's still plenty of strength and plenty of momentum into the market. And let's just see exactly where we are here. Yeah, we're up. We are up tonight. 294.34 was a high here at 145. Actually, here at 4 o'clock, we were up at 294.45. No, 294.34. So we were over this here right into the close. Oh, let me just look at this. Yeah. We got over this after hours, and then we followed through. So, I mean, caution to the wind, anyone that short this market. I think it's the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Oops. I mean, next to shorting Microsoft. But, you know, 
Uh, this is again why it is very important to have a consistent strategy to trade, a reason that you look at things. It is not about support and resistance. If it was that easy, quite frankly, no one would lose money in the market and everybody would win and the amount of money they would make would be very, very small. So there's a very few people making a lot of money in the market and a lot of people losing. And why is that? Because there is a few people that are very intelligent and smart and know what to do and understand what to do. And then there's a lot of people that don't. So if you want to put the odds in your favor, my suggestion to you is learn what to do from the people that are at the top. That's pretty much all that you have, the only choice that you have. If you are not one of those people at the top, if you don't know the, all the information already, okay, then you need to learn from someone like that. And that's, you know, the best advice I can give you going into the weekend. Have a great weekend, everyone. Kentucky Derby's tomorrow night. And uh, if you're interested in learning what I know, the next class for the Golden Gap is the 18th and 19th of May. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.